test strips. Yep. Or say here. Next thing is alkalinity. This is a powder. Anytime you're putting anything powder or granular in the spa, like we said, middle of the spa, jets on, and anything out of this box to make an adjustment is a capsule. It's real straightforward. Anything that's powder or granular, capsule. Uh, anything that's liquid is going to be four ounces, and we'll talk about that because they actually have graduations on the side that okay. are easy. The other thing I try to emphasize to people, patience. Okay, let's say your alkalinity is really low. Well, I'm going to put three capsules in. No. One capsule, wait an hour, and retest. Well, we got to go to the store. Okay, test when you get back. Don't test at the 45-minute mark. I'd rather you test at the hour and a half mark. Give it at least an hour before you retest, and only a capsule at a time. You'll notice this is alkalinity increaser. There is no alkalinity decreaser because it goes down by itself over time. So if you take a reading and it's high, don't worry about it. It's coming down. No big deal. It's not going to affect. Nope. That's why, you know, again, girl, girl third eye out of your well, that, that may or something. but that's a whole different story. <laughs> but again, this yeah, is why it's so important to be in that weekly schedule so things don't get too far right. ahead of you. We're going to go to Florida for three weeks. Okay, well, so it'll get a little out of range, but when you get back, get back into your schedule. That's a big thing. Gotcha. Next thing up is going to be pH up and pH down. So these guys now. And again, just like with the alkaline, capsule. Because they're powered with granular. Yep. Capsule jets on. Yep. Center of their spa. Just capsule. I'm talking about like one of those. Cap no, the top of the cap. Yeah, it's that's all. Yeah. It's real simple. Yep. The last thing on the test strips was hardness. Okay. Just like the alkalinity. Did that pop off on? Yeah. Uh, just like the alkalinity, there is no hardness decreaser because it goes down by itself over time. Um, if you take a reading at a time, don't worry about it. It's coming down. Yeah. Okay. Those guys are the single most it. important stuff. Now, we talked a little bit about filters, and I, I'm a nut about cleaning my filters. I, I have to admit I am. Right. But there are some filter cleaners that are spray on, let it sit for five minutes, and hose it off. I don't think they do a good enough job, and they're actually more expensive than this. The big thing about this is it has to sit in the cleaning solution for at least 12 hours. I let mine go overnight. So just put it in a bucket, right. five-gallon bucket. Well, what I do is actually yours might fit in a five-gallon bucket. I actually have tall ones. Right. I went to Dollar General and got a tote, and I lay them horizontally down in the tote. This way I use less water. And I get do a another cap hole for that? Nope. This one is one of the liquids, so anything that's in right. the box... It's going to be four ounces. Ignore what the bottle tells you. They want you to use as much as you can. Yeah. Right. Okay. They want you to use eight ounces, four ounces. It's plenty. The big thing is the amount of time that it sits in there. Okay. At least 12 hours. 24 is fine. That's what I do. Is I rinse them out Sunday morning after I put them in there on the Saturday. Um, every week, you're saying? I'm doing mine every two weeks. Two weeks. At a bare minimum, once a month. And you're only using your top. Usually. Yeah, I mean, sometimes the wife gets in, sometimes right. they, but I'm in it six, sometimes seven days a week. Right. You know, I have to be in it. And this um, is for the filter? Filter cleaner. Use filter. filter cleaner. Every two weeks, and we replace the filter every year. Every year. So, every year. Okay. Uh, but the thing of it is, you should get a second set of filters. Right. Um, so you can, because, you can swap them out. Right. And you don't want to run your spa without filters in it. Right. Guaranteed you'll get a hair Something. scrunchie or a popsicle stick or right. whatever. And I've removed all those things from pumps. Right. And these are the same people that said, oh, I would never run it without a filter in it. Right. Well, they didn't get in there if the filter was in And to replace the filter, can it be on Amazon? Oh, I have to physically go sure. get them. Yeah. Sure. You can do just, that. just, yeah. The best bet for that, though, is always, um, it's kind of like, uh, you know how you got a Ford Escort yeah. and you need an oil filter. Right. And there are six different companies that make oil filters for Ford Escorts, and it's all the same filter, but they're all different model numbers. Yeah. Once you get one of the model numbers, you can look it up across any platform. Like so I can that. actually Google this hot tub off of Amazon. Uh, don't. Don't do that. Don't do that, because they could make two of these hot tubs side by side. With on, different. With different. Yeah. So what we're going to do is I'm going I'm to tell you what it is. Yeah, we do need to get more water here. This is going to be what's called a P3. Okay. P3. Yep. Uh, there's going to be all different kinds of other model numbers, but if you put in P3, P3. yep, there we go. And, yep. and like I said, we really do so much business, we beat Amazon on most everything. So yeah, I just, way, it's cool. But it's we're, we're far. Yeah. yeah, exactly. 
but keep that in mind or keep it you know on the phone somewhere but p3 is what you need to know okay so also the night before oh your oils are leaking i hate those oils uh, the night before you do your filter cleaning this is what's called a non-chlorine shock unfortunately a lot of people use the word shock incorrectly because there's two different kinds of shock there's chlorine shock and non-chlorine shock and they just use it interchangeably they do way different things chlorine shock is a sanitizing thing non-chlorine shock is for um, organic matter that's in the water it breaks it down binds to it and allows the filter to pull it out it's a gentle way of saying skin and hair and whatever else is in there the important thing is to do this i do it the night before I clean my filters. Mm -hmm. So let's say it's, I know I'm going to do my filters that Saturday morning. The night before, Friday night, I'll put a quarter cup of this in. Now it's powder, so you're going to put a quarter cup in, jets on, center of the spot, and then just let it run for at least 12 hours. You should do it every couple of weeks. These the jets for 12 hours? No, no, just let, let it be in there for 12 hours before you do your filters. That's why I do it the night before. And the filters, 12 hours. Uh, at minimum 12 hours. Okay. Sitting in the solution. Yes. Okay. You can do it longer. I do mine 24. The shorter the filter. So and you said it. how much of this goes in the water? Quarter water? cup. Quarter cup. Right. Um, Let it sit for 12 so hours. It came up on P3 real quick, didn't it? Well, it's a uh, what they call it? PWW 50 P3, That's one and a half inch coarse yeah. thread. And they'll also call it like an FC 0300. And, and yeah. uh, there's a, a 40 bucks for two. Are the jets supposed to be on when you put that one in? Anytime you put anything powder or granular, you put a, you have your jets on. For how long? So they're on. They're on a 15 minute time. 15 minutes. Make sure everything is cycle through. Yeah. It's just, you want to make sure, and that's why you also pour it slowly because you don't want it to all just sink to the bottom. So take your time. Patience is the key to everything. Sure. Um, keep in mind when you're rinsing your filters, wherever you have really good water pressure, that's important. I don't, you know, I don't care about that. Utility tub, your outside hose, maybe kitchen sink. Utility tub in there. Do you see good it? water pressure yeah. on foam because you got to rinse it really, yeah. really well. When you start to rinse it, it's going to start to foam. So you make sure you rinse it till it stops foaming. Okay. okay. And then you put it up on the shelf and you're good to go for whenever you do your foam. Four ounces of that. Correct. Anything that's liquid has the graduation. Can I soap. leave that soaking for how long? Uh, 12 hours. I do mine 24 hours. 24. But if you go... 48. No, it's not going to Just make sure it's rinsed off and you're done. The other thing is never let a dirty filter dry out. If you let a dirty filter dry out, it's going to concrete onto the filter material. You'll never get it clean. Right. It goes right into the cleaning solution. That's the most important thing yeah. here. Um, the last three here, the ones with the pink tops, I'm not a fan of those chemicals at all. I call them party chemicals. Um, Let's say you're getting ready to have a party, and the spa has looked like this for months and months. It's been perfect, and so you're going to have a party Saturday night at 6 o'clock, and the wife says, oh, check the spa, because you know, we shouldn't care what our friends think, we care what our friends think. Right. And so you open it up, you turn it on, and there's foam. Now, you know it's a seven-day rinsing process to get rid of the foam, right. but the party's in two hours. You can use the foamer. The thing of it is, it does nothing for the underlying condition. It's going to hide it for six to eight hours, and it's coming back. So we got to constantly take, take those out, rinse them off, put if, them back if in. If you have that problem. But, again, this is why I call this a party chemical. It's right. just to hide it for a little while and make your guests... you still got to get the soap off the you filters. Still do what you, that's why we talked about corrective yeah. and preventive actions. It's right. important to know both things. Yeah. Same thing, you're getting ready for the party. <clears throat> Party's in two hours. No foam, but the water's cloudy. If the water's cloudy, that's usually indicative of one of two things or a combination of two. Let your chlorine levels get low, you haven't cleaned your filters thoroughly enough or often enough, or a combination of two. Right. But the party's in two hours. You don't have enough time to do it. You can use clarifier, and again, it's a liquid, so four ounces, anything that's liquid is four ounces. It'll work for six to eight hours, but it's coming back. It does nothing for the underlying Got condition. It. Okay. They're just party chemicals. That's, mm -hmm. Mine still all have the foil seals on. Right? I, just, I don't want to be sitting more chemicals than I have to. Right. It's important yeah. to have them, I guess, but much better to understand what's causing the right, right. Like venom. Than, it's cheaper, too. Yeah, yeah. And my wife doesn't like chemicals yeah. at all. Last thing is the stain and scale preventer. Um, they usually recommend putting two to four ounces of this in every single week. It's for 
ring around the tub. Like that, right there. Yeah, it doesn't actually prevent ring around the tub. What it does is it keeps it soft instead of it getting crushed in it. That was a rag. But my contention is, if you're paying attention to your contaminants, you're not going to get ring around the tub. You don't have to put this in. Yeah. Okay, pay attention. But I presented with the party chemicals because more than likely, you're going to have 14 people over. Um, if your friends are anything like my friends, they're going to have varying levels of hygiene. Right. Uh, you know, <laughs> yeah. and, uh, so you may want to put two to four ounces in before the party to make clean up after the easier. And again, cool. friends, friends are all wonderful. Yes, ma'am. I um uh, you said it at the beginning when um um we clean the outside and all that stuff is the spray. What do we clean it with? Uh, Lysol tub and tile or scrubbing bubbles. One of the things I do, I'm, I'm a huge fan of Harbor Freight. And if you go to Harbor Freight and go into the automotive department, right. they sell these packs of terry. And that won't interfere with the water foaming. No, that's but that's why you rinse really well. Remember, you're going to empty it, you're going to wipe everything down, including the underside of the cover. Rinse really well. Use oh, that's that's when you're doing the, yeah. the drain. It's only when you're doing the whole drain. Water I want to record everything. Yeah, that's only when you're doing water changes. Okay. Um, the last things in here are the fragrances, and I am not a fan of the fragrances, um, only because they claim to not be oil based. They are oil based. If you um, if you decide to use the fragrances, no more than an ounce at a time, no more than once a week. But let's say you decide that you just love the smell of pine. Right. Okay. You can now get spa salts that are less invasive to the spa, and you can use those up to three times. It's all about keeping the filters clean, basically, is what it, I'm it understanding. It really is. It yeah. really is. It's uh, keeping, keeping junk keep out Keep that ball there. in there, contaminants, keep the filters clean every week. Test it once a week. Uh, filters every week, not every two weeks. Every two weeks is every what two I do my bare okay. minimum once a month. Okay. okay. Not every week. Every two weeks. Yeah. I mean, if you got the second set, I mean, there's really... Honestly, you don't do anything except have your, your toad or your bucket handy. You pull the dirty ones out, put the clean ones in, and go For 12 hours, and yeah. then rinse it, so let it sit in the water for 12 warm. hours, yeah. rinse it off, yeah. That's it. Up and away you go. And that's all it is. Once you get into the routine, everybody's like, oh, man, this is going to take an hour every... No. No. It's going to take about three to five minutes every, right. uh, every Saturday. Every, it's like, yeah. You know, it's like, it's not that And much. if you don't use it... You still got to do everything. You still got to do it all. You got to test every week. That's it. I had a guy... I didn't use it for three months this winter, so I didn't pay any attention to the water. And I said, well, that's why it looks like it does. That's why you've got black algae all over your cover. And, oh, I didn't, well, oh. Okay. So, no, I got to, yeah. so I can't just leave it. I gotta, I'm going to have to have it dumped out. Well, that, that if you're not going to have somebody doing the chemicals, go ahead and do the clothes. Right. Close it. We'll have to empty out yeah. for whatever I'm in up here. Yeah. Cool.